Hello and welcome to a 4PSA tutorial. In this video we'll show you how to set up an incoming call rule for an extension. With incoming call rules you can filter all incoming calls of a particular extension and control the call flow by adding certain actions that can be performed by VoIP Now Professional. For instance you can transfer incoming calls to a new extension, block calls received from various numbers, or password protect a destination. We are now logged in as the administrator and looking at the management page of a phone terminal extension. In the tools section, click on the incoming call rules icon. Here we have an add incoming call rule section. If available, VoIP Now Professional will display a list with all the existing rules. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use incoming call rules to require callers with certain caller IDs to provide a password before their call is forwarded. This feature is useful when you want to allow only a certain group of people to reach an extension. To set the rule, select the Authenticate option from the list. Let's decide to filter all the calls that match a certain caller ID, for example, 694200. Next, you can choose when this rule is applied by selecting a call interval. We've selected weekdays. What you will have to remember is the time intervals have to be set up from the interface before defining the incoming call rules. If none are available, you can simply use the default, which is any time. Next, you will fill in a password the caller is required to enter. Remember this password has to be dialed from the phone terminal's keypad. When the password is matched, a predefined sound will be played to inform the caller that the authentication was successful. To select the sound file used, click on the icon and select a file from the list. Each rule is automatically added to the first free position. This ranking is used by VoIP Now Professional to determine the order in which the rules are checked. So since this is our first rule, we will leave the default selection, which is 1. Next, you can specify a key that can be used to enable or disable the routing rule straight from the phone terminal by dialing star 74 and then the value you set here. Finally, we can choose whether we want other rules to follow when the call is not completed. Since we're going to add more rules, we'll select Follow. When you're done configuring an incoming call rule, you can click OK to save it, or you can click the plus button to add a new one. It is important to know that you can add up to 10 rules. If you choose to create more rules at the same time, don't forget to press OK for the setting to take effect. This is how you use incoming call rules to set a password your callers will have to input for their calls to be transferred. Thank you for watching. 